Hello guys, how's it going? So today I'm taking down my mom's braids and I'm gonna put the Celebs Viral Gem Lights. Make sure you can see it. The gem lights. Okay, uh, the color is amber. It's a copper brown. These braids are about a week old, week, week and a half maybe. Braids are good for hair growth, guys, because as you know, they're considered a protective style. Um, they do protect the hair because you're not really manipulating so much. We prefer cornrows. We like the cornrows. <laughs> um, I tend to just limit it to four type four cornrows. Um, I did do a crossover broke cornrow for the front to give it kind of a crown effect. I'll probably do a video on that so you can see how I cornrow my mom's hair. Um, but what we'll usually do is we'll wash it, blow it out, press it she'll rock it like that for uh, maybe a week and then i'll uh, grease her scalp and do the braids so it's about two weeks of no washing um, that's been working for her she had two strokes last year um, i've been the one that's been the main caregiver and um but she did study cosmetology, so she knows a lot about hair. She's a Guatemala native. <laughs> and, uh, you know, in the Caribbean, braids are pretty popular and pretty common. <laughs> uh, if you want to know about me, I have many siblings. Papa was a Rolling Stone. <laughs> but in the house, it was five of us. I have two older sisters, two younger brothers. I am the middle child. I do come from a very big family. Um, essentially, we're Honduran, Guatemalan, Belizean. That's where the 15% Aztec comes from, Belize. <laughs> if you know anything about Belize, they have a lot of um, Indian, as in from India, mixture. And they have a lot of Mexican, Aztec, Indian mixture in them. And of course, the African mixture as well, Native American. So that's what we're doing now. So today is Tuesday, guys. What do you do on Tuesdays? Here we go. Shout out to Denise, shout out to my sister Iris, shout out to everyone. Thank you so much, guys, for um, giving me encouragement. I appreciate that a lot. Here you have the takedown of the braid out. Keeping the hair in braids helps it also to keep from tangling so much as well. There you go. All right. So now I'm going to do the celebs in amber. Pretty rich color. The shampoo smells delicious. <laughs> Do you like the smell, Mom? Yeah, right. It's a pretty good smell.
So this time I decided to put it on dry hair. Her hair is gray. She's about, hmm, I'd say 75% gray. So on, on gray hair, it's okay to start it off dry. Um, it'll give it time to, to develop in the hair. And again, with these shampoos, the longer you leave them, the better and deeper the development of the color is. Move around to see what parts are still needing. Some of the shampoo to go in there. And then, So it looks like if it were a color, right? But it's a shampoo. We'll just leave it, do what it's gonna do. I'm gonna get the big long big brush. Kind of try and rake it through with the long, the wide tooth comb. It's very thick, but um, it definitely looks like it's getting into the hair. <laughs> Can you see that? Really pigmented. So it definitely is a copper brown. You can see the copper uh, taking over. <laughs> So again, this is the Celebs Gem Lights Color Wash. I'm doing it on dry hair. Doing it on dry hair. And I let it uh, go in as much as possible. So what I'm gonna do is after I've combed it through, and I do suggest use a wide tooth comb, definitely. After we've combed it through, I'm gonna leave it in for a few, and then we'll wash it. 
and you'll see the results. I'm pretty excited. You were able to see the color it had as we combed out the braid out, right? And then uh, you'll see the color it has after the wash. It's exciting stuff. Have any of you guys tried the uh, Celeb color washes? You've seen me use the red. I love the red. Um, this is the, I think this is the first time I'm using the amber and recording, recording the amber use. I've used it before. I just didn't get to record it. Okay. All right, so we'll leave it like that. Okay, and we'll be back. See you in a few. All right, so welcome back, guys. We're gonna wash it off now. Don't worry about it. Okay, so I'm gonna follow up with the um, Celebs Viral Color Conditioner in red and the Bella Spirit Cleansing Conditioner by Chaz Dean. Can you see that? Yeah. All right. Right back. 
Coming. Back. This is my delivery. Okay, so yeah, definitely. You can see what the color is. It looks amber. Of course, on the grayer side of the spectrum. <laughs> Very soft. The hair does feel extremely soft. It's very, very soft. This is some of the Bella Spirit. Yeah, so a hundred hairs a day you lose if you haven't really been manipulating your hair, maybe it's a little less. But when it's over two weeks, three weeks, you've had your hair braided, don't be afraid or shocked if you see um, what looks like a lot of shedding. It's just natural occurring uh, hair shedding, hair foil, hair coming out of the hair, head head. <laughs> don't be scared. Remember with the one, you always want to wet it. That's how you're able to get the full benefits of the cleansing conditioner. And this, what you're seeing right now, is the cleansing conditioner, Bella Spirit from one, mixed with the Celebs um, color, uh, color conditioner. Feels wonderful. You can see that Celeb is very pigmented as well. The, I tell you, I love it. <laughs> but if you know another one, you can let me know. I've never used the Joico uh, color butter, although I heard it's wonderful as well. Um, what else? There's a few other ones that are out there. Yeah, 
I feel extremely soft. Extremely happy. <laughs> Okay. So we're done with the shampoo and the conditioning. Now we're going to go to the blow out and press. Remember when you dry the hair? When you're drying the hair, you don't want to shovel it up like that. You want to actually pat. The towel will absorb the water for you. Right, so I guess I'll see you in a few, guys. Ci vediamo presto. Okay. Lo puede notar. Lo puede notar. En un momento. En un momento. Yeah. All right, guys. So we're gonna. Essentially, with mom's hair, all I really have to use is the anti-snap. Her hair responds really well to it on its own gives it great movement and then when I press it I could use the uh, Sebastian's but maybe I won't have to all right so she doesn't have so much hair so that's gonna it makes it a lot quicker <laughs> I love using the nozzle to blow the hair out. I feel like uh, it's, it does what it's called, it's a concentrator. So it concentrates the heat where you want to direct it, you know? So I, do, I like to comb or brush the hair through to distribute the product. You can see some color there, can't you? Definitely did. It's job. So again, I like to create as much volume as possible. So you over direct or direct the hair up, right? Um, you can create wonderful volume with a round brush as we all know, but you can also do it with a gunman brush or a paddle brush. It's all about how you angle the hair. It's all about how you angle the hair. Her hair dries very, very quickly. And if you notice, I use the same rules because I'm blowing the hair upward. The nozzle is pointed still to sleep down those, the cuticle. See that? Still sleeping. Still sleeping. The rule doesn't change because of the direction. You follow the hair's direction 
if you want it to be smooth. Now, if you want it to be uh, blown up, then you do it that way. Thin hair, you don't have to use high heat. Um, some thin hairs, I've actually been able to blow it out with just cool. Can you believe that? Just, have you ever done that? Blowing the hair out with just cool air? Yeah, some hairs you can just blow it out with cool air. It'll dry it. It'll give it the nice volume. It'll obviously have some really good shine. <laughs> you know? So this entire blowout is being done with medium heat. With minimal, uh, minimal tension, I could say. I'm not really putting too much tension into it. Again, you have to remember who your client is. Do they have a sensitive scalp? If they do, you have to take that all into consideration, you know. For the most part, it is dry. Just finishing to dry up the center part. When you're working with medium heat, you do have to move a little bit slower than you do with high heat, obviously. You guys see that color? So, um, what part of the head is the strongest part as far as hair strength is concerned? Um, for the most part, it's the nape area. That's the strongest part of the hair, the nape. Um, for example, when they're going to do hair transplants, if you notice, where do they get the donor hair from is the nape. Now, for the most part, the weakest part is the frontal edge, right? The frontal, what they call the baby hair area. <laughs> the baby hair area. And the crown. The crown is the, one of the weakest areas. Now, for a lot of people, they notice that the hair uh, tends to break a lot in the nape, let, let's say the occipital, right? The reason for that is because that's essentially where you sleep for the most part. So something that could help is wearing a silk scarf um, or a satin scarf when you go to sleep or a satin hood or silk hood, uh, silk satin pillowcases also help a lot. So now I'm going to go with the cool, totally cool. Um, those are things that will definitely help the hair avoid uh, avoid some like, you know, unnecessary breakage, I would say. Also, how you comb your hair in the winter, do you wear scarves? If you wear scarves, you have to be conscious. Because sometimes scarves snag the hair's ends, and you'll notice, oh my goodness, you know, my hair is looking shorter, or it's looking more frazzled, or more frayed. Well, sometimes the scarves we wear have a lot to deal with uh, how the hair looks, okay? 
So remember that. Um, also, what side do you sleep on? You know, it's interesting. The side you sleep on can have an adverse or a beneficial effect on your hair because it can actually contribute to the hair's growth because the blood is circulating there and it can also make the hair fall out because you're on there and that constant pressure uh, not so much that it affects the follicle but the hair that's there imagine if it's constantly rubbing then you're going to get breakage there so those are things to think about. So look at this hair, guys. What do you think? Very voluminous. Uh, the color looks great. What do you think about the color? Look at that. Nice shine, right? See that? Look at that. So we're just gonna actually use the Martino press. Uh, I wonder if I can, I can't really remove the flash, but uh, the flash is kind of like, let me see. Can you guys see the color? The color, beautiful. It's actually more amber in person, but I think you can see the difference, right? Okay, so I'm about to start the press, which is actually going to be more curling. <laughs> more curling. I want to keep this volume. I want to keep the movement. I really like the movement. Shake your head, mommy, a little bit. Can you do that? Yeah, I like that movement. It's a nice movement. Thank you. So we're not going to do a press press with my favorite battlers. We're gonna just curl it. Let me curl it. Um, I will spray a little of the thermal protection just because it's good practice, right, guys? Oh, sorry, baby. Okay, that's it. Even though it was pump spray, it was still too much for you? Mm -hmm. And the uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's not aerosol, it says pump. It's a pump. Yeah. So yeah, some clients, aerosol might do them bad if they have um, asthma or something like that. So sometimes you might want to try and see if you can find a pump version of it. And if you can, wonderful. You know? Remember the duck bill? Goes in. Because it is um, heated all around, you can kind of get to the roots a little bit if you press, press, you know, a little bit on it. Can take the barrel area. Just a little bit. Duck bill throws in. Oh, you curl. I tell you what I love about the Martino is that it does make the work so much faster. 
makes it so much faster because all you do is duck bill in and you curl. There you go. See the curl. By the way, the red hair that I did yesterday, client was absolutely happy. They had a baby shower to go to, and they say that their hair behaved, it lasted. Oh, I'm sorry, they went home to sleep, didn't bother to wrap the hair, and the hair woke up behaving. <laughs> so, I'm really happy. You part your hair which way? De este lado or este lado? Or we won't do a part. We'll just have it all going back today. All right. So the Martino doesn't heat up as much as a regular flat iron wood or styling iron wood. Gonna try and see if we can do the chase method. I don't think. Yeah, hey, it actually does work, guys. It does work. We did the chasing. <laughs> okay. So there you go. So I never actually tried to do it with the chase method, uh, but it did work. I, I'm gonna practice it more and try and perfect that, but I like it. I like it. I liked how it looked. The ends look actually more polished, so that's a good thing. So you do have to, you still have to pinch it <laughs> to have the duck bills go through. But then you fold it and have it turn and the comb feeds it in. Okay. Okay. There you go. You can turn this way on. It's easier for me to do it this way, though. I'm going to practice on a mannequin and perfect it with the chase, but it's easier for me this way. Looking good, guys. It's looking good, right? <laughs> Excuse me. Just burped. <laughs> I laugh because when I do the videos with Denise, I be wanting to burp. You know, like a sign of, oh, this food is awesome. <laughs> but I don't be burping. Once we finish recording, I burp. I'm like, what is that about? <laughs> Yeah, hey, have you guys been able to see the Denise's videos? They've been really good recently. She's been, you know, on her own one-to-ones. She's been talking about depression and anxiety, and those are really good. Those are good things to talk about, to be honest with you. It's a good thing to talk about, good thing to understand, and 
at least try to get to know a little bit about it, you know? So, I grab the hair and I do flip it and I create tension and I pass the curlers to the mud. You leave it be so it cools off on its own. So you saw I blew out the hair on warm heat, high speed, and then um, blew it out with cool air, right? And after I blew it out with cool air, okay, you can turn this over. I blew it out with cold air. Use the Martino curler. I love this curler. Has it ever happened to you that you buy a product or a tool and the first time you use it, you don't like it and it's because you didn't know how to use it. <laughs> the reality is that you didn't know how to use it. And then once you learn how to use it correctly, it's like one of the best tools you've ever used it. You did it. it. <laughs> look at those curls, babies. Look at those curls. Look at the hair. You could actually see the color better now, can't you? So that's the color. That's the hair. All right. So I'll put pictures of when we comb it out. I essentially like to let it set. Shake it a little bit, mom. See how it looks. Do it again so I can show it from the back, please. Look at that, look at that, look at that. <laughs> so that's my mommy, guys. And that's her hair. We're taking care of it, taking care of her. I'm blessed, I can't complain. Yeah, I love life and I love living. All right, guys. So yeah, my Instagram is the same, Marshall Blend, Marshall's Blends Hair. Uh, go follow me there, guys, too, and give me comments. Thank you so much. Okay, so I'm going to post those pictures at the end. Bye!